Our ancestors used to collect water from the river mainly because the river's water is sweet. My grandmother told me um, long ago in her days they used to take um, something like that. It's called ibri in Arabic, but it was also a jar. It was made of clay. They used to go to the river and they used to collect the water in it and they used to go back to the village to take fresh water for their families. Uh, this is, was a very important thing that they used to um, concentrate on and it was sacred for them. And the water that was collected from the river was looked at very highly because it was used for cooking and also washing their vegetables. Other water was used for different things that they used to collect in wells. These are stones that are picked from the river. They have been sitting under the, uh, the water for a long, long time until people find them and bring them home to make them the little pets. Uh, these days, people, uh, I guess young people, have all sorts of entertainment with their um, phones and computers. But back then, uh, people used to collect these as hobbies because they don't have many exciting colors to look at. And um, these stones that have been sitting in the river um, for a long time, that um, they're well polished, they've been tampered by time. Um, and um, Chinese culture, um, we like to look at the universe through nature. So these stones are like micro um, universe, little microcosm, um, where people find simple pleasure in life, having a little pause by looking at um, the evidence of time left on these little rocks. And um, these days, people um, are very um, I guess, occupied with extracting from nature, mining and um, harvesting what they could. But um, in simpler times, people also will find simple pleasure and, um, and um, finding reminders of their relationship with nature through simple objects such as beautiful little river stones. From my experience, most time I live in a city. So I never think about uh, how, where's the water come from. So I always just uh, turn the tap on and I got waters. But at the, one of the city, which is uh, Shanghai, and uh, we have this uh, river called Huangpu River, and actually quite contaminated. So when we, that water need to be treated heavily, so we have, now we have a water coming from that tap. So every time, if you go out of that city, then you're coming back, you can taste that water is so, you know, the, what's called, the things put in. Uh, chlorine. chlorine, yeah, very strong. And I also went to live in another city, which is the west of South China. And that city is actually 3,500 sea above, uh, above, the, above the sea. So sometimes the water cannot pump into the high rise. So I have to be, go to get that bucket, go down level one to pick up waters. The Vietnamese culture is uh, to greeting people, to invite them in the house and have the tea with them. That's our culture. And I grew up in the Mekong Delta, so the river all the way around me. Everything from the beginning, from the morning until the dawn, you see the river, you hear the water, you see the children play in the river. And we use the river, the water from the river for uh, to plant our uh, rice. Uh, to wash the clothes, to cook, we do everything with the river. And so the river is part of our culture. And from very small, we have learned to swim in the river from one, two years old until even the old people, they still take the bath in the river and on, onwards, the, the river is part of our culture. We also have some uh, uh, big ways to collect the water from the rain that we use to cook for the tea, for the drinking, but for all the ordinary living lives, we use the water from the river. Uh, I come from a countryside from North Lebanon and a uh, long time ago they used to collect fresh water for drinking. Uh, they used to, to walk uh, down to a spring of water and then collect it in a vessels which is from uh, clay. Um, and it was like a gathering place 
way people socialize as well as bringing home uh, bringing home like drinking water uh, the vessel used away from clay and clay uh, like keep the water cool and um, natural taste uh, water was very very precious because they they used to collect it and bring it home and drink it wasn't it from a tap but from a, a spring fresh water spring I come from India where the water is uh, precious uh, in the central part of India we have river system and wells so people used to collect uh, water and they had to walk a long time usually ladies to collect the water now there were different shapes uh, to collect the water from the river and one from the well because one from the well can uh, hit the side of the well and break the pot so you, they used to bake that clay uh, pot very very efficiently and make it tough so that the pot won't break when they bring the water up and the river one was comparatively uh, not very strong and uh, there are different types of uh, shapes of containers usually earthen baked and as somebody said that the water kept in the in the earthenware keeps cool because it perspires in the summertime and keeps it cool and also it, it is a natural antibacterial quality of the soil.